What's up, YouTube? Welcome to episode 17 of Retro Buyer's Guide. Um, in this episode, I'm going to show you how to flash an Action Replay Plus cartridge so that you can play CDR backups of your Sega Saturn games in your Sega Saturn without having to use the swap disc trick anymore, which is really, really handy and a lot better for your hardware because, one, you don't have to worry about, you know, flipping a disc out of there really quick and then slamming another one in. Um, and, and damaging any of your internal components like your laser or your, your motor for your CD drive. Um, so I recommend everyone do this. Um, the only thing about you know setting up your, your Action Replay Plus cartridge and flashing it is you're going to have to use the swap disc trick to actually flash it. But after that, you won't have to use the swap disc trick anymore. You'll be able to just insert a burn game into your Sega Saturn drive. And as long as you have you know this cartridge plugged in here in the top, you know, nice and firm, um, you'll be able to just hit a button and it'll go straight into the game, uh, bypassing copy protection altogether. Uh, it's really crazy that it only took more than a decade for them to figure out how to do this, but, you know, I'm, I'm glad it's here, I'm glad we have this way to play backups because, uh, you know, to be honest with you, even though I was really good at doing the swap disc trick, um, it wasn't something that I liked to do too often because, uh, you know, I, I was really worried about damaging my Saturn, but um, uh, thankfully, you know, like I said, we have this uh, this way of doing it now, and, and uh, everyone should switch over to doing this because it's it's definitely a lot safer and, and better for your Sega Saturn. Now, you'll notice, uh, you may have noticed, I guess, uh, at the beginning of this video, I have two Action Replay Plus cartridges, and that's because uh, at this moment in time, once you flash an Action Replay Plus cartridge with the firmware that you need to be able to play backups, you can no longer use it to uh, back up your save games, uh, which really kind of sucks because I had a lot of save games backed up on the cartridge and, uh, you know, this thing only has a, uh, a battery in the back uh, for backing up your saves and once that dies, you lose all of your save games. So um, I actually bought another Action Replay Plus cartridge on eBay, they only run about, you know, somewhere between $20 and $30. It's not too much money, and I recommend you do the same uh, if you want to continue to keep your backups on one of these, because, again, once you flash this Action Replay Plus cartridge, you're not going to be able to use it to backup save games. Uh, it's only going to be used to, um, uh, to use the firmware to basically play your CDR backup. So, uh, without further ado, let's, let's go ahead and get into it, and, and let me show you what you need to do. So very quickly, I wanted to show you what it looks like uh, when you boot up an unflashed Action Pro Replay cartridge. Uh, you're you're going to see the Sega logo as normal, but then you're going to see this uh, come up, the Action Replay uh, title screen, and then you'll be able to start your game, select cheat, use the memory manager, or see the credits. And you're going to want to go to this URL to get the Atlas sudo install disk zip. I'll make sure to put the link in the description. And uh, just go down and click on that guy, let it download and unzip it. You're going to get a bin and a Q file, and uh, you're going to want to burn those in alcohol 120% by clicking on the Q file. And again, I want to reiterate that you need to have your Saturn ready to do the swap disk trick, which means you're going to need to open it up and tape these two sensors together uh, so that it can play disk with the door open. Uh, if you need more reference, look at episode four. Once you've unzipped the, uh, the file that you need, um, you're going to go into alcohol 120% on a PC. Uh, I have better success burning these on PCs. Locate the file and burn it. Uh, don't change any of the settings, just burn it. Okay, so once you have the firmware and you burn it to a disk using image burn, uh, what you're going to do is the swap disk trick to get your, uh, your Sega Saturn to load it. And um, so you want to make sure you have your action replay cartridge um, not inserted yet. So make sure that it is in the slot but is not pushed all the way down. And uh, you're going to do the swap disk trick to get this to boot. Um, you can see this is the Atlas disk here. And uh, just as a reminder, you are going to need an authentic Sega Saturn game to be able to do this. If you don't remember exactly how to do the swap disk trick, you can refer back to episode four. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. Again, it takes a lot of practice, a lot of patience, a lot of timing, 
but once you pull it off, uh, you won't have to do this ever again once you flash the firmware to this Action Replay Plus cartridge. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and start out and do that now. So we're going to start here. Um, your Sega Saturn door should already be rigged. Um, and if you don't know how to do that, again, refer back to episode four. Uh, so leave it open and then uh, start with your Atlas disc and go ahead and start it out. Once you hear the boom, slow the CD down with your thumb, put the other one in, and go ahead and let it boot to the Sega logo. Once you see the Sega logo pop up on your screen, hit reset, I almost hit open, it wouldn't have mattered. Um, and then you'll hear the boom again, take your thumb, slow it down, stick in your Atlas disc, and let it spin. Um, didn't work out that time, but uh, we can try it a couple more times and see if we can get it to load. So uh, we just got it to load. Saturn multi-game boot disk application by Rocket B. It takes a couple of times to try, so don't get discouraged. Um, but you can um, you can you can get it to, to work fine. Um, so uh, what you want to do next is you want to make sure that your cartridge um, is pushed down firmly. Um, and you're going to go ahead and format it and flash the firmware. Atlas, Saturn multi-game boot disk application by the Rock and B. So if all goes well, you're going to see that screen, you're going to hear the voice talking to you, and then you're going to boot into this. And to get going, um, you want to hit the start button, and what that does is that's going to boot into the Atlas disk. Um, then you're going to see a menu, a text menu that tells you what all the commands are. Um, and then to get past this, you're going to hit start again, uh, which is going to take you to this menu. So you're going to scroll down to firmware and you're going to hit A. And then it will say directory change, fine, hit A again, that's fine. And then scroll all the way down to PSO31.BIN and then hit A. It'll say copy that file. Go ahead and confirm with A. Now, I'm not going to do it because I've already flashed my cartridge, but the next screen you're going to see is kind of crazy. You'll see a, a bunch of boxes everywhere. Scroll down to Flash Action Replay, and then it's going to say um, Exit SGM and Flash Firmware. Confirm with A and C, so hit A and C together. And you'll see the menu change ever so slightly. There'll be a little plus under the Exit SGM and Flash Card. And just hit A to confirm. And then finally, you'll get to a new menu where it's going to ask you to initiate the write. And then you're going to hit A, B, and C and start together to do that. At this point, you don't want to do anything. You just want to let it do its thing. And uh, eventually, it will finish and you will have a flashed action replay cartridge that you can use to play backups. Okay, so now that you have flashed your, your cartridge, your pro action replay, um, you should be able to play backup copies of your Saturn game. So this is a, a burned copy of Dragon Force, and I'm going to show you what happens uh, once your action replay is flashed and you put it in. So we're going to go ahead and close that. We don't need to do any more swap disk trickery, thank God. Uh, so go ahead and turn the power on. And you should see this menu now, um, which will let you reflash your action replay to start the game or see the credits. Uh, so if you hit A to start the game, you'll get detect your real Saturn disc, opening file, reading, and start your game in 3, 2, 1. you go a working Saturn game uh, played from a backup and I'm just gonna pop that open just to show you there's a CDR still in there and that is Dragon Force and let me just switch this over here to the TV you see I'm still playing Dragon Force So I'm 
just going to stop that real quick and uh, show you there's the, uh, the CDR. So yeah, all is well. Uh, this is a great way to play backups in your Saturn and uh, you don't have to do the swap disk trick anymore. So I hope you uh, enjoyed that tutorial and if you have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comments. Uh, I appreciate it and thanks and subscribe for future videos. All right, take care.